In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to use a nano VNA, like this nano VNA H4, to measure an antenna and then help with optimizing its tuning. Now, to measure an antenna, uh, you can use the reflection coefficient or the SWR or the Smith chart. I'm going to choose to use all three. We can see that the yellow trace is already set up to be the log mag of the reflection coefficient, so we'll leave that. The green trace is already a Smith chart, so we'll leave that one alone. So we'll reconfigure the blue trace to be SWR and then get rid of uh, the purple trace. So we bring up the menu, go to display, go to trace, and let's first just get rid of purple trace by touching on it, touching on it again to, to get rid of it. And then we'll select trace number one. The inverse text tells us that we're selected. We'll go back and then tell it to be on channel zero, which is the reflection, the reflection channel, or the S11 channel, and now we just have to go back in one more time to the format and hit SWR. Next, let's set up the frequency range we want to test. So we'll bring our menu back up and go back and back again and go to stimulus. In our case, I want to measure the 40 meter amateur radio band from 7 megahertz to 7.3. So I touch on the start frequency and I dial in 7 M for megahertz that will set up the start frequency and then we'll go back in and select the stop frequency uh, 7.3 megahertz and now we've set up the stimulus range that we want to test the next thing we want to do is run the calibration because the default calibration is going to have two cores of a granularity to measure over this limited frequency range that we have so we br go bring the menu back up go back and hit cal and go to reset to reset the existing calibration we can see that those calibration indicators have gone away over here and then we hit calibrate and since we're only doing a reflection measurement uh, on channel zero we only have to do an open short and load so we start off by putting the open on the port and touching open and next we put a short on the port and touch short and then we replace the short with a 50 ohm load on the port and touch load. Once we've done all three standards we can hit done and then choose to save it to a memory location. I'm going to choose just to save it to location one. And so now we hook up uh, the antenna. With the antenna hooked up we can see our SWR plot over the 40 meter band. We can see the log magnitude of the reflection coefficient and we can see the Smith chart and uh, we can use the jog wheel to move our cursor or marker to make measurements at, any, at various frequencies across the range or we even have some marker functions to search for a min or a max so for example if I touch on on marker number one that activates uh, trace number one and I can go into the marker function and do a search and search for a minimum and that will put the marker right at the minimum and I can see that's at 7.216 megahertz. Now of course that's all we need to do if all we want to do is to sweep the antenna but if we want to retune it for example we can leave these displays up and actually watch the reaction as we adjust the tuning on the antenna. So let's say for example I want to retune the resonant point of the antenna to be closer to the middle of the CW portion of the band instead of in the phone portion where it is now. So we can actually just watch the reaction on the VNA as I tune uh, the controls on my antenna tuner. And this is where I find it handy to have the Smith chart shown on the VNA because uh, you can actually see how the controls on the antenna tuner are going to twist and roll the uh, trace on the Smith chart and it gives you a little bit better intuitive feel about which way to tune the various controls. Now the first thing I'm going to do is move uh, my marker down to oh somewhere in the CW portion of the band you know maybe around 7.07, 7.06, 7.05 something in the neighborhood so to give me an idea that's the the point that I want to now try to optimize with the tuner. All right, we'll start by moving uh, some of the dials around here. Let's take a look at uh, how the, the various curves move around. We can see as I turn my inductor up, I can see the Smith chart's kind of turning around in this direction, okay? And the resonant point is coming down in frequency. So that's kind of going the right way. 
okay? And we can actually see I'm bringing my marker on the Smith point, Smith chart, closer and closer to the center of the Smith chart. So I'm getting kind of close, but it's still kind of missing the mark a little bit, so we're probably going to have to optimize the capacitor here as well. So if we tweak on that a little bit, I can see I'm uh, deepening the null there on the uh, reflection coefficient, and I'm getting pretty close. So you can see with just a little more fine-tuning on uh, the controls of the tuner, I've got myself pretty darn good at my desired point right there. SWR is about 1.02. I'm sitting right at the center of the Smith chart. Uh, reflection coefficient is down around minus 30-something uh, dB. So uh, we've successfully retuned this antenna from the phone portion of the band down to the CW portion. Yeah, so give it a try yourself. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. We'll be planning on doing a couple of more uh, nano VNA videos here in the future. Let me know what you'd like to see. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And we'll look for you again next time. Thanks for watching.